Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are installing another Zappi on the outside of a garage. We've got two minutes on the inside. It's a nice easy install. Let's take a look. So here we have the existing electrical setup. We have a smart meter, 100 amp fuse on a TNS earthing system. This property has recently had a rewire by the looks of it. They've got a new Luden consumer unit installed here, but it's actually at full capacity. So what I'm going to do today is install a 10-way Aleutian board with surge protection just to the left hand side here and that's also going to give the customer extra capacity for more circuits in the future. Now I know I've mentioned it before about these Skullmore Illusion boards but I'm going to give them another quick mention in case you missed it in my other video that I talked about it. These boards, they're a really good quality build. You get a bag of bits with actual blank modules, grommet strips, buzz bar top hats, a pack of stickers for every circuit that you could think of and they're really competitively priced. So if you haven't given them a go, give them a go.
So now where we are is I've got the consumer unit installed. I've got my high tough cable ran from this consumer unit to the zappy charging position. I've got the other end of the cable prepared ready for dead testing and I'm just preparing this end now. Now as you can see we've got the Aleutian board here, we've got the main switch, 32 amp MCB and surge protection here at the end. This doesn't need an RCD this end, the cable is just clipped on the wall surface to the charger. The Zappi's got the built in type A RCD so that's all that's required for this installation. We've got the new Hemi block installed, a new earth block and now my installation is completely separate from the rest of the house. I'm here at the zappy end, I'm just doing my R1, R2s and then I'm going to mega through the cable, make sure that's all safe and I'm going to terminate it both ends and do some live testing. That's this end all terminated, I'm now going to go to the other end, do my live testing and I can come back, put my cover on, put the stickers on and it's all buttoned up. Right, so I've just turned on this Zappi for the first time and we have the setup wizard. Now what that is, is I need to now set up the date and the time and connect this charger to the internet. Now in this circumstance, the couple have just moved in and broadband has not yet been installed. So we're gonna connect the charger up to a dongle and at a later stage, when the broadband has been put into the property, we can connect it up to their Wi-Fi. Here I have uh, the Mega EV adapter and I'm just carrying out my PE and CP error tests and I'll plug in my MFT1741 Plus and carry out my RCD sequence. So that's my RCD test sequence complete. The other thing I like to do is take a photo actually of my test of all the results on my iPad and I've got a digital copy of all my test results and the location. So I can prove at time of testing that this charger was absolutely fine. That is this Zappi installation complete. What I'll do now is just run you around the whole installation so you can see exactly what I've done. Okay, so here we have the new consumer unit, the Skullmore Illusion. As you can see, they're just really nice boards. And I don't know if you can see this, but they've got this lovely seal all the way around it. And it gives it a really nice finish. Then inside, we've got the main switch. We've got plenty of spare ways, the vehicle charger and SPD at the end. We've also got the new Henley block, earth block. We can see the gas is bonded there and the water is bonded inside. 
Here's the CT clamp pointing in the direction of the Henley block from the meter. That's working correctly. And then we've got the high tough cable glanded up, runs at high level, all the way along the garage and down through the wall, sealed with mastic, and through to the finished zappy. Thanks for watching again today. Really appreciate all the support I've been receiving recently. I have another video coming up which are where I'm installing a hypervolt at a property where they do not have off street parking. Now there's conflicting information about this whether you're allowed to do this or whether you're not. So keep an eye out for that video. You may find it interesting. Also please hit the thumbs up button, like and subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks again.